Welcome to the Rusted Garden. I want to do a quick harvest video. A lot of people ask me, well, what are you getting out of your garden? These are pole beans that actually reseeded from beans that were here last year, and I just dropped in those posts to let them trellis up, and they're, you know, well over eight feet. They actually made it to the top there and are dropping down. A couple of tips that I want to share with you, too, as I do the harvest, is these uh, beans were pretty beat up by spider mites, and instead of putting down chemical dust, which doesn't kill spider mites, they're pretty resistant to it, but will kill the uh, bugs that actually eat them, the good insects that eat the spider mites, I decided to just start spraying water underneath. And it looks beat up here, but as we work our way up, the green really came back, the spider mite problem went away, and I have all of these green beans to really pick, and we're going to eat them tonight, and then we're going out to happy hour. But I just want to show you real quick to um, take them off the vine. Make sure you don't pull, you're going to damage the vine. Hold on to the bean, and then just push the stem up, and they will separate. Let me do that again because I think it was off the camera. So instead of just pulling on here, take a hold of the bean and then push the stem straight up and they just separate that way and this way you don't damage the plant. So I'm going to harvest all of these and then work my way over to another pole bean and then some peppers. Here's the harvest from the green beans. There's actually three plants down there. Yesterday I harvested some garlic. I'm going to bring in a small clove of that. I let this dry outside for about a week in the shade. I'm going to take it in a little prematurely prematurely and use it but about a week in the shade and then I clean it up and then I actually keep my garlic in the refrigerator some people just let it sit in the house in a cool area I'm also going to grab one of these onions that came back well actually overwintered and did a really how bizarre is that did a really nice job of bulbing up for me so an onion's going to come with me let's go over to some of the other crops Here's another planting of green beans. These actually went in as seed, and they are not as big as the other ones. Same variety. These are about six feet tall, going up a pole. And one tip, and a lot of you know this, but harvest your green beans regularly. The more you take off, the more they'll produce more flowers. Because if you leave the beans on for too long, the plant believes that it's got enough of the vegetable on there, it starts turning the seed and they stop flowering and they start really going into seed production. If you take the beans off, they realize there's nothing there for seed so they produce more flowers. So let me clean this off and we'll walk over to the peppers. Here are my banana peppers. A tip with peppers, actually a couple tips, are that peppers can be planted much more closely together than you think. They actually love a little bit of neglect too, so after you give them your initial nitrogen, don't overfeed these plants with nitrogen because they'll grow a lot of leaves. And ne neglect them a little bit, give them a higher uh, phosphorus fertilizer, and they'll produce more fruit. They're also very fragile, so don't pull your peppers off because there's a good chance you're going to break off the whole uh, stem here. So I'm going to have to cut these off, but I see, I don't know, about 10 peppers that I can take off and they'll go in with the beans. Those are some cubanelles they'll come off too. But again, remember, and there's a whole other wave of pepper. So I'm gonna take the ones off the bottom. Those will be ready in three or four days. Remember to cut the peppers off your stems because the stems are really fragile and you don't wanna you know, break a plant that you've been taking care of for several months. So I have green beans, I got peppers, an onion, some garlic. I'm gonna saute this together. Uh, lightly uh, cook the uh, green beans and peppers through. It'll be a side dish for some steak we're making. And then I'm also going to add in some collards. And the best way to really pick those, you just get in there and push it straight down and the leaf will break off. There goes a white fly, if you didn't see that. Yep, a little bit of white fly mark. So when you're out harvesting too, another tip is to really inspect your plants for insects disease and damage and when you turn them over like that leaf was pretty good did see a white fly on the other one I only want a couple leaves of the collards and the leaves look pretty good but as soon as I see one white fly on here I'm going to get under there wash them down again with some water and that will take care of the white uh, white fly problem you have to kind of stay vigilant and do it every couple of days but they're fragile so a stream of water can really take care of them couple minor holes, the neem oil is working, so things look pretty good. So I love coming out in the garden after I get off of work, pick something usually for a side dish, like I said we're going to have steak, and then after I cook this up, 
good to go out to happy hour with the wife and it should be a good Friday. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the harvest. I'll do more of these videos if you like them let me know. I'm also on Instagram too and I do a lot of photos of what I'm harvesting on Instagram if you want to follow me there and you can find me uh, under the rusted garden or by my name Gary Polarchik but the rusted garden is easier to pronounce. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my seed shop at www.therustedgarden.com. Thanks.